Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, July 30th of 2017. Uh, this month has 31 days in it. So this is Sunday, and Monday will be the 31st, and then Tuesday I get my uh, retirement check from Working Hospital Security, and I worked see with it for one hospital system 18 years, and my retirement pension is $175 a month, and I'll get that on the first. I'm not sure what the moral of that story is, but I thought that might be an interesting fact. Um, this is just a general a uh, little blog, show me blog, Howard's Notebook or whatever in video format. And uh, it won't be very long. Well, it's going to be less than an hour. I put a frozen lasagna in the oven and it will be done in about an hour. Family size, all, all three of us uh, like lasagna. Um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, I in my lifetime I've had very few billfuls. They last forever. But I ordered a billfold from Amazon, of course. I'm getting a ten dollar one. Probably I've got, because sometimes you get one as a gift, I probably have a couple billfuls brand new around here. Uh, the reason I ordered a billfold is this one well that wasn't anything important that fell out, but that's been happening. My card has been falling out and I just uh, <laughs> I don't want to take the chance that uh, my card falls out. So I ordered this one here, a $10 billfold. It looks to me like probably this is a good way to make sure that uh, the card, you know, the cards don't fall out. So I placed a thing about a $30 order, and today's Sunday. I just placed it and it will be here tomorrow, free shipping with Amazon Prime. I really like Amazon Prime. I don't see a lot of movies, free movies, uh, on Amazon Prime or on Amazon that I, that I really like, it seems like. Of course, I have trouble finding movies because um, movies that are movies that are seem like they're that they're popular with people those are not the kind of movies that I like uh, I I like happy movies I do not like any I don't like slasher movies murder movies uh, you know I just don't want to see those kind of movies and there's a ton of those kind of movies made and they're very popular here in the United States, I'm guessing must be probably popular worldwide. And, uh, but I do like movies, so I've seen a lot of movies, and I see a lot of movies over again, and I wish I could, uh, wish I could find more movies that I like. I like a lot of uh, foreign movies. I like a lot of French movies. So, as you can see, I've moved my this camera around. That camera was right over here on uh, this tripod here. Try not to knock my Coke over. Uh, so, I haven't decided. I've always liked with webcamming or whatever, I've liked 
wide views. I've liked the views too from up high. I, I like views that show the entire, you know, that show the entire room. Uh, I'm a fan of Twit uh, Network. I really, of course, they're, you know, they, they stream, they stream live video. They also have all these different shows that are podcast. And they say that uh, the vast majority of the people who are consuming their product actually are just taking the audio and listening to the audio. But uh, an awful lot of their video, you know, of course all their videos, are they are videos too. But uh, there are very few people that, let me see. There are very few people that I want to see up, up this close. Uh, and they do a lot. They have uh, their technicians or whatever zoom in really close, and I'm sitting here watching uh, someone talking about Google or Windows or well, Google or Windows or Android or some subject like that, and I'm looking right up their nose at their nose hairs flipping while they're talking, you know, too close. Need to pull back some. Um, so what else have I got going on here? I like this format. Uh, I'm glad I have my wide, wide screen it's uh, 30 now I forget how wide it is okay anyway I like my LG uh, wide format I can get two things so I can have two browsers windows next to each other I when I'm working on uh, when I'm working on my blog I can have you know it over here and then I can have that what I'm the changes I'm making I can make here and I do an immediate refresh and then see the changes and things that that I've made. Uh, this is one of the themes that was free. A guy did it, you know, made it for free. He just asked for didn't hardly ask for he asked for uh, donations. Not big time. I donated several times, small amounts of money. And then he did have a couple of things that he created that I did purchase inexpensive things that I that you can use even another uh, browser, but I still or another uh, theme. But uh, I liked this one the best. But he does programming, uh, you know, as his job, and spends a lot of time doing it. And so he sort of stopped with any update to this. We just had a power surge. I've got a small device over there that I have the cable modem plugged into and the uh, router plugged into. I also got the phones plugged into it. But it's really for the router and uh, to take the power surges out, not to try to. Although it's it's a small device, but it will run. I don't know, probably for an hour or so, it'll run and keep uh, my Wi-Fi going if we lose if we lose power. But that just happening reminds me that I need to get a UPS supply for over here and it's not to uh, well just enough time to what one to take the power surges out that spikes out and whatever that's the most important thing and the then the other thing is to let me be able to just shut the computer down but that little power surge there that we had reminded me so um what else have I been? I forgot I got sidetracked on something. But, uh, oh, 
this guy has uh, put out the word that he's working on an update to bring this WordPress theme up to date. So I went ahead and put it back on here, and I don't think he was going to have the update done for several months, but I thought I'll be I'll be ready when he has it uh, when it's ready. Some of you people, or a few of you, have been following me since like 1982, uh, before the World Wide Web, when I was online with a bulletin board system. People had to call in by the telephone. And you know that I'm always playing with uh, software, the look, change, and it drives people crazy if you are used to calling in and having this it look a certain way and then you call in and I'm running new software. Sometimes I ran two or three different soft, you know, BBS software in one day, uh, just doing that kind of, and I still do that, and I, I know it's aggravating. It's just something I can't, I like to play with it. I like to try new things. And I don't use my cell phone for, for, uh, I don't use it. I don't even use it for um, very rarely do I use it as a telephone. I only use it if if I'm ordering a Uber or if I happen, which is very if I happen to go someplace, you know, need some mapping or something. I just very seldom use it, but I have it around all the time. And also, I've got it linked, so uh, if I go to log into Windows, if I fire my computer up, if this is close by and Bluetooth is turned on, which I keep it turned on, then I get log. I can log in automatically without having to enter the password. And there's other places too, uh, things that that that's tied, you know, tied in for security purposes. Oh, but even with this device that I really hardly use, I am always trying, and I've paid for, I don't know how many, uh, Android launcher programs. And I just changed everything. Well, I usually end up going back, trying this to the same one over and over again. Uh, last... I think yesterday I, I did, yesterday I did try a new one, Eva Launcher, E V I E Launcher. It was okay. Uh, I've paid for A D W Launcher. I've paid for Nova Launcher, and I've used in the last. Uh, probably I should stick with what uh, the free Google Now or what is it, uh, the Google Launcher. It's nice and simple. I like nice and simple things, but I forget why I switched away. Sony, I'm back using, uh, I think, I forgot now. I think this is Nova Launcher, can't remember. So I just can't help myself. Um, as I said in the video the other day, I'm going to, here in a few days, go ahead and set up a contest. Well, a uh, way you can, somebody can win something. And I uh, haven't decided what the, what the giveaway item is going to be. But I'm so lazy, I don't want to make a video or do a couple things. So I, maybe I can show a little bit of, if I go to Amazon, Uh, da, 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 Amazon. Uh, I'm going to say the fire stick. I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to have a giveaway of a fire stick, but just to uh, go down here, and I think it will. I'm thinking since most of a lot of you are interested in uh, headset, maybe a headset I'll give away. Let's see, go down here, maybe lower, there'll be a, here, hit it, okay. So let's see how far we can get, uh, set up a giveaway. 
uh, number of prizes would be one. Uh, sweepstake, let's see, random instant win, lucky number win. Okay, now I don't know which one of those, uh, I guess it's a sweepstake. So I can set it up so that you are required to have to follow me on the Amazon Authors page, follow me on Twitter, or have to tweet a message, watch a short video, watch a YouTube video, I'm not sure what the difference between that would be, answer a poll, so, and I can do more than, let's see, so I think I'll make the, I think what I'm just going to do is, uh, I don't care if you follow me on my uh, Amazon Authors page. I think it might be to some people's advantage. And I don't really care if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I don't care if you tweet a message. I'm too lazy to make a short video for you to watch. Uh, well, there's nothing left, is there? Well, that's not good. Hmm. I want to require something. Oh, if it, um, I thought it would probably say, of course, it's not YouTube. I thought it would probably say, okay, well, I have to figure out something. Anyway, I'll make it like 30 days or something. Oh, okay, it's only going to be, this is, I'm sorry, this will only be a deal for United States and the District of Columbia. So, sorry about that. Maybe I'll come up with something later on, but I'll be doing this here in a little while, but. Um, you know, I'm thinking about maybe $50 to start with, if something that's, Maybe it sells for around $50. Maybe what I should do sometime would be uh, give away five items, each with a value of about $10. If, if you people start using my Amazon link, and any one of the Amazon links you see below a the YouTube video here if you use that and it takes you to something that I'm recommending or talking about then if you buy something else if you buy that I get a small commission if you buy if you go there and you just and you buy something else I get a small commission so if you're gonna buy a big screen TV or a two thousand dollar computer or something please use that link if if I start getting, I just uh, just got paid for this last 30 days commissions from Amazon and earnings. Where are you? Your payment history. I was paid uh, twenty-three dollars and eighty-four cents for the month. Uh, if you guys could kick that up, if you start using my link, which doesn't cost you anything, if that amount goes up and up and up, then I'll make these little giveaways that I do, or that I'm going to do. I'll make the amount you know bigger and occasionally have you know something you know bigger better okay um, I had somebody I had a, well a couple people said that when I make my videos and they're they're correct that I should keep them on one subject uh, and they were a couple of them commented about my cat and possum video and so you saw for like three and a half minutes the cat walking around here and 
on my desk or whatever. Then the rest of the video was a possum, and they were saying, you know, if you're interested in, if we're interested in the possum, we want to go and see the possum. We don't want to, and they're correct. But I, it's, uh, you've also got to be the YouTube videos. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and those people that I like, you know, they do. Uh, a specific they have a, a way of you know you get their you get their personality or you get they have their own little thing and oh my thing is it's not I guess no organization and just whatever happens to pop in my mind comes out and that's just me so I know those people are correct and I am going to try to do that but I don't think I I don't think I can stick with I can stick with it because I'll start talking. But I do know they're you know they're actually correct, uh, and because I'd like to make it easier for somebody to find something, or even for me, I can't tell you by looking at the title or even the tags. I can't tell you where if if I reviewed something or talked about some subject and then I wanted to just say oh well, I did a big video on that I have no idea where in the hell it is and, uh, uh, I'm gonna start uh, I don't want to and I know you don't want me to but everybody's talking about President Trump and everybody's talking about politics and everybody's talking about every day that something's going on and I'm talking to other people and it's on my mind but I'm trying not to put it into the blog because I think definitely Republicans and the Trump supporters do not want to hear anything that I have to say about the subject and I can understand that they don't want their position challenged or they just want to go to Fox News or Breitbart or RedState.com or uh, someplace else and get their news that they that they agree with what uh, what changed what changed my mind is I just happened to flip by a TV channel and it was Fox money channel or is that on Fox News? I think they, I think they have a special money channel, don't they? Or is that just a program? And of course, that's something. Even I don't watch CNN's money. I, you know, I should because uh, I'm not good with money at all. I have, I, I never drank. I'm not an alcoholic. Never been an alcoholic. I've never done drugs. I've never even smoked one marijuana cigarette. If I happen to go to some state now where marijuana is legal, I'd try it out. But I've never done it. Probably never will, you know, will do it. Uh, I'd, I've never smoked. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? See, I got sidetracked again. Oh, I went to, I saw a few, I couldn't stand more than a very few minutes of it. It was Fox News financial reporting. It's the guy that I've seen flipping by before, and I guess he's one of their financial uh, people telling you about uh, financial things. But, I so I watched a little bit of it, a few minutes of it, and he... It was propaganda. It wasn't. It was uh, vindictiveness. It was. Uh, he's you know like. He spit things out, and he. And I thought, oh. Not just Republicans, not just Trump supporters, but. Democrats, everybody, everybody should be able to look at something like that and see that this is 
propaganda, it's hateful, it's spiteful, it's not the way to... Now, if you came to my videos and I was doing it, fine. I am not a new... Or if you come to my blog and if I am doing something like that, that's fine. I am not a... Uh, I'm not a news media person. I'm not a journalist. Uh, I'm not a professor. Uh, but if you go to a TV channel or a radio station that's supposed to be news or whatever, and if you go to some place, especially like something that's supposed to be financial information, uh, they shouldn't be doing that. But all of us should have the capabilities to recognize. And so when I saw this, I thought, you know, what I should do is uh, copy this video, this a few minutes. I wouldn't need very much, but probably I would need enough that Fox News probably would claim that I was uh, taking their material, you know, whatever you're supposed to be able to take, though. But what I would have, what I was wanting to do then, and that kept me to thinking, I wanted to take the first. 30 seconds what this guy says and the little uh, grimaces that he makes when he says uh, Democrats or the various little things that he did uh, propaganda techniques uh, and run the video and then stop the video and then I would talk about you know okay did you see and by a person using this word, this word is a loaded word. It is a word, you know, and then run a few more, a few more minutes or seconds of what, and then stop it and say, you know, in order to uh, hopefully get people maybe to thinking about, you know, that listen to what somebody is saying and. Uh, uh, Somebody the other day said, and it wasn't from, it was uh, talking to people face to face or whatever, said, well, Donald Trump has an IQ of 156. And I said, uh, no, you know, I don't like Donald Trump, but he does not have an IQ of 150, 156. And, oh yeah, he has, an, you know, I, I've seen it on the on the internet places or whatever. So I then and then I was talking to somebody who said the same thing. You know, Donald Trump and they they don't like Donald Trump either, but he has an IQ. Of, I said, you know, how do you know? And they said, well, I went on the internet and there was it said that he had an IQ of 150, you know, 56. And I said, well, where did you go on the internet? I said, you need to, you know, look and see, you know, what site. I, and I, I said, you know, there are things that have popped up before that are said or something, a news story or, you know, a news story or something. And I've done a search and there'll be two or three pages of the same story. Two or three pages that pop up on Google. And let's say that it's, uh, let's say it was something when, when Obama was president, something stupid, you know, like he wasn't born in the United States or whatever. They would <laughs> pop up and you'd, and then I would look, I'd check a few of them and they would all be, you know, uh, right wing hate sites that had, and all the articles there that they would have would be crazy shit, you know. Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton is a lesbian, uh, you know, news story. Uh, reports are that Hillary Clinton is a lesbian, child per, uh, pervert, uh, Satanist, or what, and there would be, then these would all be the same things, and they would all be at the top of the search thing, and you'd have to go two or three pages before you'd find something. Of course, you can come to Snopes, S N O P E S dot com, and they're really good at uh, pulling up 
you know you can do a search for the or you can have an email sent to you I think once a day with their with their stories and uh, they tell you of course here that, that the information that Donald Trump has an IQ of 156 is false not proven not substantiated and whatever and of course you know uh, but there's something wrong with the American educational system, or there's something wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not smart enough to know what the thing is, but I think I told this story before someplace. I was working hospital security, and I went into the hospital uh, to start my shift and went into the nurse's break room to say hello and whatever, and they were in there, and there was a thing upon the bulletin board that said... Uh, Warning, we all need to be aware of this. Pass the information. And it said, uh, a, you know, Bill Smith, uh, they always give too much information, you know. When you see a news story and something happens, you always, oh, they don't have the person's name. They don't, you know. But when you see the story that, when you, when you see some of these stories, and you, you can just look at them, you should be able to look at them. The problem is, if it agrees with your point of view, then you're going to accept it and pass it on. And all these things always say, too, at the bottom, pass this information on. One of the tip-offs. But I came in and this thing said, oh, pass this on. Uh, Bill Smith went to uh, such and such, uh, went in such and such a bar, they give the name of it, you know, and uh, he had a drink with a lady and, and went up to the room and and then he woke up in a bathtub naked in a bathtub with a telephone right next to it and a note and he read the note and it said we have uh, taken your liver or kidney I forget what you know which and uh, you need to call 911 and so then it says uh, you know lieutenant so and so of the I think it was New Orleans police department said oh yes we're having this happen a lot so everybody needs to be careful, you know, it's happening all over the United States. And I said, you don't believe, why did you post this on this bulletin, you know, to the uh, to the nurses? And they said, well, yeah, that that's a, a warning. And I said, it's bullshit, it's crap, it's fake. This isn't happening. And they said, oh, yeah, and I said, it's not happening. And then uh, I said, Come on, doctor, you know, the ER doctor was, doctor, whatever his name, whichever one it was, you don't believe it. And he said, well, it's possible. And I said, no, it's not possible. Now, if you were in China, you know, or someplace, something, you know. So anyway, I went home. At the end of the, I didn't go home. I went to, waited to the end of my shift. I went home, searched, and I, I think I went to Scopes or whatever and pulled up that, uh, New Orleans Police Department says this is not true. It did not happen. Uh, uh, we get calls every day. Uh, every day we get five or ten calls. They got more in the beginning. And it's not true. It never happened. You know. And, uh, I mean, I could look at this and immediately know that it wasn't, you know, that it wasn't true. Uh... And there have been other things like that. I had a friend, I don't think, I still consider the person a friend, but I'm sure he's a, I worked with him, very nice guy, a uh, long time Rush supporter, always wanted me to rush, watch Rush on TV or whatever. Nice guy, I think he's totally... Uh, I don't hear from him anymore. I uh, think he's totally cut me off, uh, which is fine. Uh, but after I retired from there, I would get emails from him occasionally, and every one of them was, oh, here's a story of, I'm sure, I think Clinton might have been president then. You know, oh, here's a story, you know, and it was always bullshit. And, you know, if you don't like, a president or if you have if you are 
you know, you're conservative, you're right wing, or whatever you are, you're left wing, liberal, or whatever it is, that's fine. But don't send out crap, and you should be able to recognize that something is bullshit. And I don't understand, I'm not, I'm not that smart. Although I did take a test that showed in this area that I'm talking about, I was at the top 2% of uh, juniors in, in high school that had this ability, the ability to read material, uh, understand it, and uh, draw conclusions and accurate information from it. Now, I'm not bragging because my I was in the like the bottom two percent of of uh, mathematical ability uh, and the other areas were not that good so in that one area the thing because I got this thing and oh shit well I'm I'm average you know I'm an average person and then I saw you know the the, the math thing, I thought, oh man, what is what is that? Math? Oh man, 98% of juniors in the United States are better in math than I am. And then, what in the hell is this? Because it was like a chart. What in the hell is this thing here? Whoops. You know, 98% of the juniors in the United States are not as good as I am at the ability to read and interpret and understand. So, I don't understand what... But here's a site you can come to that will, uh, just like when I was, we had a shopping, a nice shopping mall that opened up when I was living in Belton, uh, close by, a really nice shopping center. They just built it and they were saying that it would be the last major shopping center built in the Kansas City area. And uh, it wasn't, I even was assistant man at when the place opened. I was assistant manager, I was manager trainee at a Radio Shack store uh, when the mall first opened up, so I actually worked up there. Nice mall. And then I really didn't go, after I wasn't working there anymore, I very rarely went to the mall. But out where I lived, in Belton, Missouri, uh, local police officers and uh, People were saying, oh, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm a couple of local police officers said, oh, my wife is not allowed to go to that mall. It's too dangerous. Uh, and uh, the only time she goes is, you know, I go with her and, and I'm armed when I go. And then there was nurses and people saying, oh, yeah, you've been hearing about all this stuff. And I said, what stuff, you know? And, I, well, there's... Uh, guys are laying underneath a car and when a woman comes out uh, he cuts her tendons on her legs or ankles so that she falls down and then he can rape her or whatever uh, that's not that is not happening oh yeah it, it, uh, uh, I heard from other people that's ha happening with him and I did a search on that and uh, well, one there was no lo it wasn't happening locally and wasn't happening at that mall wasn't happening any place in Kansas City, uh, but I did a search and I think I probably ended up at uh, this site here, and they said that that's the thing that's been going on, they for a long time, and you hear it in all these different cities about different malls or restaurant parking lots or church par or whatever, and it's always going around, and there's people who just keep re recycling these things and putting them out for, I don't know why they, why they do it. And there's other stories like that. And I can, uh, uh, I can see something like that and see right away, this isn't correct. There's some things you know, just like I know Donald Trump does not have an IQ of uh, 156. Uh, Well, and I don't think this is prejudice. I mean, it's just facts are facts and and whatever. Uh, one of the presidents with the highest IQ was Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter. Okay, I'm a Democrat. Uh, I voted for him. He had a, 
a terrible, he had a high IQ, one of the highest, and he had a terrible administration. He was ineffectual. He just did not do a good job. He made some mistakes. Uh, a lot of the things he did, like he, he didn't like the Washington establishment. He brought people from Georgia to be there, so he didn't. And he also, which was a mistake, you, he needed to use good people, and he needed to do use people that knew how the Washington swamp worked. And uh, so I'm able to say, you know, that this he he, hap, he happens to have a high IQ. He was not. Uh, a really good president. Uh, he's a great ex-president. Uh, oh, anyway, this uh, ex-friend, I guess, uh, at this hospital I worked at when I retired, he would send me an e he'd send me emails, and it was always some bull crap that he would have. He'd copy this thing, and it would always be the thing that was copied would always be. You could just, I could tell, and you should be able to tell. It was just you look at it and you read it. Uh, too much information. Uh, yeah. Because when you read these stories, you go, oh, wow. You know, when you're reading a real story, you're reading it. Uh, well, uh, what, you know. But th this, they always have, oh, detailed information, you know. And then the, the key thing is pass this on. When you see that, you better double check, triple check. Anyway, he sent this thing that said, uh, I forget the town, let's say, I don't know, Barnwell, Kansas. I don't know if there, I know there's Barnwell, South Carolina, because I spent a summer there, but I don't know, there, let's say Barnwell, Kansas. Uh, black helicopters and foreign troops in uh, in Barnwell, Kansas, then the story, you know, at, you know, 2 p.m. on such and such, uh, 10 black helicopters descended upon uh, Barnwell, Kansas, and uh, troops descended in the small town of 3,600 people, and uh, began shooting, doing a training exercise for when they uh, assume, when they start to round up people for uh, when Obama is not going, not Obama, when uh, Bill Clinton is not going to leave office and they were doing a training exercise but uh, some live rounds were fired and they destroyed the uh, church steeple and they uh, also sh uh, rounds and ammunition uh, shot up windows in the in the town or whatever. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Anybody should know it's bullshit. This guy that sent this to me, by the way, is uh, as a bachelor's degree in science from KU, and he didn't take uh, easy. It was in chemistry, I think. Another power surge. I uh, wonder if that my lasagna draw on too much power. I only got 15 more minutes to go before I get the lasagna. So anyway, I checked. I went to this town. I uh, checked their weekly newspaper for that date and time and whatever. And anyway, he made a mistake when he sent it. In the past, I had always, when he'd send that thing, I would always send back a link and say, you know, this this didn't happen. This isn't correct. And I would uh, maybe some I would refer him to scopes or whatever that explains the the uh, situation or something. And uh, but this time, when he sent the forwarded the email, he had like twenty or twenty five people that. Uh, he carbon copied it too. And so I just replied to all of them back with the information and I never heard from him. He never sent me any more. 
uh, things. He stopped sending me stuff, which was fine with me. But um, so I, w I wish that somehow we could get smarter about this type of things. And I wish people would stop. Okay, you know, you don't like a president. Don't make up stuff about, you know. If you have problems, okay, discuss those problems. But don't make up, don't make up things. It, it, it shows you're really stupid. You know, it shows you're really gullible. Well, I guess it, it doesn't, if you're, Well, I'm not talking to the people that make this stuff up, but I'm trying to talk to, to you if you're somebody who forwards it. Don't. Too, I've seen a lot of things on Facebook, uh, and there and there's a lady I used to date. Very nice lady, uh, Christian lady or whatever, but she will post something sometime like, "Oh my God." This is just, you know, and then I do a check on it, and then I post a thing back saying, you know, uh, no, whatever her name is, uh, this didn't, you know, I know you're concerned about it, this didn't happen, here's a link to scope.com that talks about how this is something that's been uh, made up in the past a long time ago, and they, one of the things, too, was, uh, the spider thing, and it'll come back around again. A poisonous spider that came to the United States from deepest Africa or something like that, and uh, somebody was in a toilet again or again. You know that you know someone was in a toilet, or they'll give the name, of course. You know, uh, Mary Smith was using a toilet in the restroom of. Uh, Toby's uh, Barbecue Hut on Highway 1 in Miami, Florida and she felt something and uh, on her leg and then she saw this spider and there'll be a picture of it and uh, of a spider and this is a deadly blah 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 and it bit her, and she died in agonizing, de you know. And that story, they've changed the, the location sometime or whatever, and that story goes around and around and around, and there's a bunch of others. And I wish that we could make our educational system, design our educational to get people to think and to understand and to comprehend what they see, what they read, what they... I'll sometimes have somebody say, uh, did you see the story such a... No, you know, and I can just... No, that's not true. How do you know it's not, you know? I know it's not true because I can, I can look at it and I can tell it's not true. Uh, the, the only problem with it is people are going to think that it's political. So, I and mean, we should just be educating the kids. They, they should, but they're going to think that you're trying to do the leftist agenda. I get so tired of the Walmart basements, or Walmarts are being closed to be used as detention camps. You know, that was under Clinton, under Obama, and when Obama became president, uh, he was going to. Tra he was. There was a black army being assembled uh, to put people in detention camps that were uh, set up and closed. Uh, I mean, just story after story, and some people get really, you know, like the poor slob who uh, heard Alex Jones's story that a pizza hut in Washington, D or not a pizza hut, a pizza, pizza place in Washington, D.C., that Hillary Clinton and uh, President Obama 
had a child molestation place set up in the back of it where they were molesting little children and uh, he drove up there from wherever he was went in with a gun and shot a couple rounds off in the ceiling to get everybody's attention and went back there and found that uh, the only thing in the back room were uh, people making pizzas and uh, he's probably going to spend a long time in jail or in a mental hospital and I guarantee you though that that story is still going to go around or but they'll, it'll be changed it'll be in a different uh, place and where they used uh, in the past Clinton's name and then they, they'll change it then they used Obama's name and then they'll be using the next whoever the next Democratic president is. Well, I only have 10 minutes to get my lasagna ready. This is a lot longer than I intended it for it to be. Than I intended for it to be. So I apologize for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching.